Hey everybody, it's Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm talking with Ramsey Nijam. He is fighting Justin Edwards at UFC Fight Night Rockhold versus Philippou. And uh, right now, what are you doing? You're, okay, you just turned me sideways here for a second, Ramsey. You waiting for your coffee? There we go. There we go. Much better. Yeah. Just waiting for my coffee, my late night coffee, so I can go to bed tonight. Okay, exactly. Well, I will say this. You're at Pete's Coffee, and uh, my, my dear friend Hilda works there uh, in the corporate offices. Great company, great coffee, but you are going to be buzzing for a long time. That stuff is strong. <laughs> Well, I got a massage, so I got to relax a little bit, All right. you know? All right, very cool. Well, listen, both of us are going to be going to Atlanta. You're heading out a little bit sooner than I am. But um, first and foremost, I just kind of want to hear your thoughts on this fight. What, what do you make of the matchup with you and Justin? Uh, you know, when I first heard it, you know, obviously I know Justin really well from the show and uh, training with him. And, uh, and I didn't know he was moving down to 55, actually. That was kind of a surprise to me. But... Uh, stylistically, man, I feel like this is a great fight for me, and um, I really, you know, I have something to prove this fight, and I really had to change some things up, and really ready to get out there and uh, show the world what I've been working on. I really, I really been training hard, been a lot more focused than usual. Uh, my weight's a lot smaller. I'm, I'm a lot thinner than normal. I'm not going to cut a bunch of weight last minute like I normally do. So it's just, it's just been a, a more professional approach to the fighting game. I'm no longer the 20-something-year-old kid that just can have fun and goof around. It's time to actually get serious and do what I, what I want to do and be who I want to be as far as a fighter. Well, I, I, I'm glad to hear that, but at the same time, I find that kind of incredible when you think about all the people who would love to fight in the UFC and you're going, eh, whatever, a couple fights. I kind of <laughs> didn't take it that seriously. Um, is well, I, I always took it really seriously yeah. like as far as my training getting in there and training training as hard as I can. But as far as, you know, there, there's just a lot to it. It's, it's as far as being like the mature and making my own decisions yeah. and I don't know, it's just kind of, it's really, I'm, I'm a, it's hard to say not serious, but I'm, I feel like a lot, I'm a lot more mature and obviously losing two fights wasn't fun and it took a lot of soul searching and right. I really had to change, you know, change my approach to the game, make it fun again and make it make it a business, not just like, hey, I love the fight and this is what I'm going to do and I want to be a fighter. Well, that's interesting too because obviously that's something that a lot of fighters would feel that pressure of their back against the wall knowing you know, how much competition there is in the organization and when you do have two losses. So why do you think though, you know, a lot of times one loss makes somebody wake up. Why, why didn't that first one kind of get you? Um, it was James Vick and Miles Jury, right? That, uh, that, yeah, that, and the first one was Jury and you know that one, I, I chalked it up as a as getting caught. People and, get caught, you know, absolutely. Whether, absolutely. Yeah, whether people get caught or not, yeah. I was definitely disappointed, and it was not fun, and it was not an easy pill to swallow, and, mm -hmm. you know, that was definitely a very hard thing for me to, you know, accept, Yeah. but I don't know, maybe I just chalked it up, and, you know, I thought, well, that's not going to happen again. Yeah. Then when you get caught twice, you realize there's, some, there's something missing. I'm right. missing, obviously, a certain part of the game, whether it's mental, preparation, mm -hmm. uh, you know, seriousness, or whatever it was, and... So I, you know, I had to make a couple adjustments. I've been training out in a power with in San Francisco with Tarek Azim, and yeah. yeah, he's a great coach. And you know, I still still train out of the pit with my, you know, with my home guys that I, I've come up through the game with. Awesome. Well, Tarek, as you as you know, is a is a dear friend of mine. I think he's a wonderful guy, and people know him as uh, Jake Shields' head coach and stuff. So, what specifically about his approach and you know training with Jake? And I'm guessing you get to mix it up with Gilbert Melendez as well. What what's different about their approach, and what you know what do you find is the the most important thing you've learned, or kind of some of the knowledge that you gain from training around guys who are so professional and who've been doing this for so long? Uh, I really the professionalism. Yeah. I mean, those guys, they're. They're a lot older than me, not a lot, but in the fight game, you know, they're a lot more mature and older right. than me. And, you know, they're still the top guys in the world. And there's a reason why they've been the top five of the world or whatever they are for the last t 10 years. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's amazing because of the professionalism and the way they approach it, they really master their basics and yeah. focus on, you know, every day, each day. And, um, you know, it's not like, I, and it's hard to say I wasn't doing that, but I just wasn't doing it the right way or the, uh, as professional as I should. And uh, just really taking a violent approach to this camp. Everything, oh, are you there? Yeah. Froze for a sec. I'm good. I still see you. You're good. You're good. Oh, are you, are you back? I'm okay. good, yeah. I just really took, okay, I really just took a violent approach and everything I do is real basic and violent. And that, you know, that's what I really want to show in this game, keeping it real basic keeping it real violent and just, I mean, I'm in shape. I'm always in shape. We never, no one's ever questioned my conditioning and, you know, the, as far as that. And that takes a lot of work, but it, I was missing, you know, a lot of the basics when it comes to fighting because I was thrown in the mix in the UFC. Such, such a, 
young and immature in my fight career. I was a couple fights in my fight career, really, a, you know, not even a full year training full time. So I really had to had to make a different change. And it, it's been great. I, I've been having fun again and just mixing it up with new guys and uh, having great great competitors expose the holes that you have that you can normally get away with someone that you're you know, a little bit better than. Right. Well, that's great. I mean, that's fantastic. And the cool thing too, is that Gil is going to be on the air with me, uh, with Fox. So I, I that's going to be awesome to be sitting there with him watching yeah. you fight sitting next to Gil is going to be great. Yeah. We had a great training session on Wednesday. Uh, this lot, you know, usually yeah. you taper off that last week. So yeah. Gil came in and he showed me why he's the he's number one lightweight beast. in the world. Oh my yeah. God. He's so good. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. He showed me why, and Jake showed me why he's one of the number one guys in the world on the ground many yeah. times. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, it's funny you're talking about your conditioning and and how much uh, what good shape you're always in. For Justin, he's dropping for the first time, I believe. So, how do you think that's going to affect his performance? And and does that mean that you, you know, might strat strategically take him deep to to see how he can do? Um. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it as he's in the best shape he's ever been in. Yeah, okay. Because in order to make weight, you really got to condition hard. Mm -hmm. You can't just half-ass and go on jobs and do this and that. Yeah. You really got to train hard to make weight. So I'm taking it as he's prepared. And if he did it the right way, he's going to be in the great sh greatest shape he's ever been. And you know, I'm ready to go with three fives if I have to for a war. And um, so that's how I'm, I'm approaching it like that. And I still going to push the pace because I really do believe I have better conditioning than anyone in the world and I can push the pace on anyone. So that's still my, still my goal always. Cool. Now, uh, on a lighter note, um, I hear that, uh, in, in, in line with your maturity, your growing maturity, your whole family is kind of stressing you out about getting a lady friend. What's going on with that? <laughs> oh no, it was just, they were asking me, uh, what my new year's resolution was. And, okay. And, it, and one of the big things is to be more professional in everything. And, All right. uh, one of those is definitely my relationships. And, yeah. uh, yeah, my, my mom's like, she's kind of getting pushy, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Like, she's like, you know, everyone's always kind of worried and they're like, come on, Ramsey, what are you doing? Right. And I'm like, yeah, I'm 25 years old. What are you guys pushing me? So my older brother, my older brother just had a kid and yeah. you know, he's a beautiful little baby that's really healthy. So everybody's like, well, don't you want your cousins to grow up together? Right. Oh, no. <laughs> so you come from a, like a traditional sort of old school, old school family then? Uh, we're a really close, tight knit family. Yeah. So definitely they, they want that. And one of my other cousins is pregnant. So I'm like, she'll, he'll have his friend right there. Right. So it's okay. There you go. There you go. So, well, but does that imply <laughs> yeah, that you're like I'm a little bit of a ladies man then? Do you kind of play the field or are you just don't, don't deal with the ladies at all? Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to let you blow up my spot like that, Karen. <laughs> No, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I move around, I mean, not move around, but I'm gone a lot, so it's always yeah, yeah. been kind of a hard thing to do, and I've always just focused on fighting, and right. usually by the end of the day, like, a lot of people, I'm so tired, by the end of the day, like, the last thing I ever wanted to have to do is, like, have a girlfriend I gotta go and, like, go to dinner with, or, I mean, I can't even eat half the time, so I'm gonna go on a date and yeah. go eat. I'm not drinking. I'm not going to go out and grab a drink. Maybe right, go see a right. movie and grab some coffee. That's about it. Yeah. All right. I hear you. I hear you. And also, lastly, with the uh, maturity, you once weighed in, I remember, in like a stripper outfit, right? Didn't you? <laughs> what was that about? And, and is that something we'll see again? Me? Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> me with that. I don't know. I just, it was I just fun. I remember it was funny. It was very funny. Yeah, it was, really, it was funny and it was fun. And, yeah. you know, I got a nickname just messing around and yeah. having fun. But, you know, as, as a, the only Palestinian fighter in the UFC, I really feel like I have a lot of pressure and I have a lot sure. to represent being, you know, an Arab descent. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I just really want to represent them the right way and, yeah. and not be, uh, I just had to learn there's a difference between my personal life and uh, my professional life. And like I said, that's one of the things I've, one of my New Year's resolutions is just be a lot more professional in everything I'm doing as far as my posts on Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter and all that. It's it's more of my professional uh, person and and that's I feel like that's real important to me and that's actually one thing that Tarek's helped me a lot with you know kind of yeah. grow you know it's growing pains that's what, like, I'm yeah. growing up I'm, I was immature when I first got here and I still am very immature don't get right. me wrong I'm not not anything uh, <laughs> I haven't grown up that much but I'm working on it and yeah. uh, just working on you know on my business side of, as far as you know being a fighter there's a lot of business side with it and. That's also kind of an important part that I just always kind of chalked off as not really my concern for one reason or another. Right, right. 
Well, cool. Like I said, I've known Tarek a long time, and what he's done at home in Afghanistan with his with bringing boxing there to women and empowering. I mean, I know that's the name of his gym is Empower, but really, that's what he is yeah. all about. So I'm, I mean, I'm sure that's just a great relationship for you to have. It is, and you know, that's something that I look up to, and I yeah. would love to be able to uh, one day be able to, you know, mimic something along those lines for you know, my people and, yeah. you know, my heritage. And, um, I, you know, I was blessed. I grew up here in the States. I, I was yeah. born in Concord, California, and that's where I'm training now. It's yeah. awesome. I'm back staying with my grandma. And cool. uh, she, made me, she made me dinner tonight, and she cooks along my diet. And so nice. it's been really great. And, and you know, I'm really blessed. So I, I want to be able to share that with other people and, you know, share what I've learned and, you know, some of the knowledge. And uh, honestly, I, it could have been just as easy born in the Middle East and never had this opportunity to be a UFC fighter. So I really want to take full advantage of that and, you know, really prove it out to the world. Awesome. Awesome. Well, it's great. Well, I'll let you go. Enjoy your coffee. I know you got a massage in a couple of minutes. Uh, wish you safe travels, and I will see you in Atlanta uh, when you're squaring off with Justin Edwards on UFC Fight Night. Thanks for taking the time tonight, Ramsey. Thank you. I'll see you later. All right. Take it easy.